Hey guys, so this was another, actually, no, this is my EDS tech still. Uh, this was another pickup I recently got. I purchased it for $40, which is a fantastic price. Uh, the store owner actually runs a more competitive store, if you will, and they do a lot more magic than my previous store, or my previous pickup, and he actually owed me some store credit. So it was $40 cash and then the empty of the store credit I feel like I had like $40 store credit, but the store credit was useless to me anyway. Um, so we got a few interesting cards, uh, Mind Twist, Hell Vault, uh, Blade, other cards. Um, yeah, you got Play 7, Treat the Angels. I love this card, it is very beautiful. So we're gonna see the value of this very fast. So I'll say it is like $80 um, for this collection. Two. Not one, but two foil creeping tar pits, as well as uh, a few regular ones. Lots of the man lands. And, and then here are some kind of odd cards that I just needed. Uh, Magnus, uh, Peacekeeper, which kind of, Peacekeeper I like a lot for uh, tiny leaders. Path, uh, more paths, uh, rare Dongbringer. I'm making a rare Dongbringer collection because I'm trying to get mostly evasion, not commander. But Commander's good too. I really like collecting Basana and Rare because they're so cheap right now that it's like not totally worth more failures, Gifts Ungiven, <laughs> whatever this is. Uh, Dark Steel Plate is worth some money and then some conspiracy like, hell oh, more Hell Votes. So I purchased this for, I would say, 80 bucks total. Um, it was a fun, it was fine. 80 bucks total, 40 in cash, 40 in store credit. The owner got this for like 10 bucks, 10 bucks. So obviously I'm not gonna leave you what the store was because then people would hate on the store. But stores need to make money too. There's overhead, um, they have air conditioning in Houston, which costs a lot. And I tell you, air conditioning is so super expensive here. They have like food for you sometimes. Like they have, uh, the if like at any moment you are not happy over the price, I just suggest not taking it. You don't need to trade, no one's forcing you to trade your cards in for cash. You can always buy list it or do it some other way. But um, this was obviously a very good collection and I'm okay pay, paying $80 for it because some of it I actually need slash really want it. All right, uh, last collection soon. Bye guys.